Living, dead, or never alive. I'm alive. We are all alive. What do we do that lets us know we are alive? Life processes. All living things do certain things to stay alive. These are called life processes. Animals, including humans, do these things. Plants do too, although they do them in different ways. Have a quick think about how we know that we are alive. We can remember the characteristics of living things by Mrs. Grimm. So not Mr. Pengelly this time, but Mrs. Grimm. And there are seven aspects. Movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. Let's go through each one, starting with movement. All living things move. Animals move around to get from place to place. Plants grow and turn towards the light. So here are some examples. A hare runs to escape from danger. A sunflower moves to turn its face towards the sun. The next one is respiration. All living things respire. Plants and animals use oxygen in the air to turn the food they eat into energy. And here we have an example. Mammals breathe through their mouths and noses. Plants take in and give out gases through their leaves. The next one is sensitivity. All living things are sensitive. Every living thing can detect changes in their surroundings. Animals use their senses to see, hear, taste, touch and smell the world around them. Plants can also detect changes in the environment. This mimosa plant curls up when you touch it. The next one is growth. All living things grow. Animals grow from babies to adults. Seeds grow into plants. This ocean molar started life as an egg, not much bigger than a full stop. It will grow to weigh about a thousand kilograms. This is the same size as a large bull. Bamboo can grow up to three centimetres every hour. The next one is reproduction. All living things reproduce. Animals have young. Plants produce seeds from which more plants grow. This wolf spider has her babies on her back. Each seed contains a tiny miniature plant ready to grow. Excretion. All living things excrete. Waste products are removed from the body. Both plants and animals have to get rid of excess gas and water. How do you get rid of waste products from your body? Leftover gases and water leave plants through their leaves. Nutrition. All living things need nutrition. Food is eaten to provide energy to live. Green plants make their own food using sunlight. Some animals eat plants and some eat other animals. Bears eat both, like people. Green plants make their own food using the energy from the sun. Okay, let's play a quick game called Living or Not. Which of these are living? Which are non-living? How can you tell? Pause the video and have a think about it. Here are the answers. Were you right? Living things have life processes. Remember Mrs. Grimm. They need food, water and air to stay alive. They can sense changes in the environment. They can move, grow and reproduce. Non-living things can be things that were once living or part of a living thing or they can be things that have never been alive. They do not need food, water or air and they cannot reproduce. This section is called dead or never alive. Many non-living things have never been alive, but some of them were once part of a living plant or an animal. 
which of these non-living things are dead and which were never alive? It may help to think of what the thing is made from. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answers. These items here were never alive. Things made of materials like metal, rock, plastic, glass and sand have never been part of a living thing. These items here are dead. All of them are non-living, but they used to be part of a living thing. Have a think about which living thing they were part of. Is this teapot living, dead, or has it never been alive? Have a think. The answer was never been alive. Did you get it right? Is this rabbit living, dead, or has it never been alive? And how can you tell? Pause the video and have a think. The answer was living, because a rabbit has all of the seven characteristics of a living thing. Is this pine cone living, dead, or has it never been alive? How can you tell? This pine cone has fallen from a pine tree, so it is now dead. Finally, just a quick reminder to remember Mrs. Gren when you're trying to work out whether something is living, dead, or whether it's never been alive. Here are the characteristics of living things one more time. Movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, nutrition. And the first letters of those words make up the name Mrs. Gren.